Hello, this is Daryl at 10 Foot Truck Good Attitude Services. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and a nice holiday. And uh, today is sales day, or was, uh, Black Friday. Because I got a call to go out and pick up a big TV um, at the mall. And uh, those TVs are so big, they don't. there's no way they're going to fit in a car. So they, they gave me a call and it went really well. And they're definitely going to use my services again. I helped them get into their house and even, you know, go upstairs and everything, get it there where they needed it. So that's always good to, to do that, to um, that customer service. So they'll call you back for uh, repeat customers. I got another repeat customer contacting me today. I'll be going and picking up some furniture for them tomorrow. And then I have a removal coming up. So still getting some work, even though it's coming closer to winter. But it is a good idea. I mean, I, I know that around this time we have all these sales and stuff because uh, I also do apps that uh, they're gig apps and they have I, I noticed they were doing these uh, pickups at uh, I think it was Walmart and uh, so they're picking up when they have any sales they get they increase the amount of pickups of course I was thinking about doing that but then when I got a call to go to go pick up a TV with a truck I'd rather you know work with uh, my independent truck uh, jobs than Unless I have to, sometimes in the winter time I will do, um, especially in the winter time when it's snowing, uh, I will go out and do um, some of the shop delivery uh, delivery jobs for the apps um, to fill in the time. And I mean they don't pay as much because they're you know you're based on on their uh, the price that they offer, so you have to check with the mileage. Like I always want to get a certain amount per mileage. I'd like to get two dollars a mile on those, but sometimes it doesn't work out. But I did notice there they had more of those pickups because of the sales that are going on. So probably this weekend. And um, yeah, and those big TVs, there's no way. I mean, unless you have a pickup truck, um, if you have a car, I really don't think the bigger one, because they're getting bigger and bigger every time I see that those TVs are, uh, people get you know much bigger TVs now than they did <clears throat> in the past. So uh, yeah, those are good um, good opportunities to, if you have a truck to to pick up some extra money help people haul those now of course it depends on the i have cargo insurance on my truck uh so i feel a little bit more comfortable doing that because on those high-end items uh but uh, if you don't have cargo insurance and you don't have the proper truck yeah sometimes it's not worth it but uh with a box truck and cargo insurance and having you know tie downs and things to make sure that the load is secure i, I don't have a problem with it i've done it before I do it. I pick up appliances, brand new appliances. Uh, I'll pick up widescreen TVs, washer, uh, oven, the stoves, dishwashers, that kind of thing. Uh, the only thing I don't, pick, I won't pick up and deliver is um, is the bigger size refrigerators because they're unless they're um, easy. I mean, it depends on the size of the refrigerator. My truck is doesn't quite have the height with the door. Sometimes it becomes a problem uh, with that, and. Um, you don't want to transport refrigerators. I've done it before, but you really don't want to transport them on their side. You want to have them standing up. So a lot of times with that, because of the, the compressors, uh, I, I usually don't <clears throat> pick up those, but anything else I will uh, pick up brand new. Uh, but yeah, you do have to have a certain amount of cargo insurance. And um, well, I mean, you don't have to, but it's probably a good idea. Uh, I feel safer with it to when I'm transporting really expensive items. So I may get some more calls for that this weekend. Uh, I know uh, the malls are packed. I don't know about in your area, but it, it was uh, it's crazy. I mean, it was so much. It was like trying to fight traffic in there. Uh, I mean, it was inside the mall parking lot. So it was just just to get into the next lane. It was like really a challenge. It was almost like gridlock in, in the mall. So people, I guess, they take this stuff pretty seriously going out on on the on these for Black Friday shopping uh, sales. Um, I haven't seen the mall that packed in a while. I know the, it's weird because I hear about the economy, you know, how it's, it, you know, we're, we're in a kind of a tight spot with the economy right now, but I guess people are still, still out there shopping and, um, I guess that's a good thing. So, uh, I don't have that kind of money to go out and shop like that, but I'll go out and do work. I'll go out and, and do the deliveries and the pickups and help people, but uh, I can't afford to go out and buy these bigger items like that right now, uh, maybe someday, but... <laughs> Right now, um, I need to save up my money, but and get more work. So, 
that's about it. Just wanted to uh, talk about that, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, so uh, hope everything goes great. It's a nice weekend. The weather's been pretty nice. Um, sunny and no snow yet. And I think next week, it's going to be cold, but we're not going to get any, maybe some rain. So it hasn't snowed yet, which is unusual because out here where I live, we usually get snow. I think that, in fact, the the ski slopes up here, which aren't that far behind me, uh, the mountain there where they, pay, they have a, uh, a bunch of ski slopes up there, they usually open on, from according to what I read, they usually open on this weekend, which would be Thanksgiving weekend. And they usually get a lot of clients or a lot of people, uh, customers out there, skiers. People are into skiing. I used to ski, but not anymore. And then there's another one. There's two, actually two, two ski resorts up here. So I guess they're, uh, there's not enough snow yet. So um, I guess it's because El, El Nino or whatever you call it. We're getting up here, up, we're way up north. Uh, we're getting um, where I'm at. It's, it's a little bit drier, I guess. That's what they're saying this year. So we're not going to get as much snow, which is fine with me. I don't mind the cold weather and I don't mind the snow, but you know, for work, I have to, it's much easier for me to use a truck when it's not snowing. So maybe I'll get some more uh, work into the December and I won't we have to worry so much about having chains and all that. Um, yeah, I don't like driving in the snow that much. Um, so, but that's, that's the way it is out here. I oh, hope it's all great out there with you guys. Um, some good attitude services, 10 foot truck, signing out.